Hello, Sink the City. My name is Jake Garlia Parch. I'm a third year business management student and I love football. Don't we all? Don't we all? Right. So imagine this. Oh, blah, blah. Excuse me. <laughs> you move into a city, you love football, but you don't know anyone. You don't have anyone to play with. What, what do you do? We have a venue that only, most venues only opt, uh, run at an optimization of a capacity of 41%. So I, our app, Kickabout, will help to promote grassroots football. So imagine this. My game's cancelled. We only have four players. We need some more players. But there is a load of players out there who want to find teams to join. And these venues, only an optimization of 41%, need players. So the solution simply is, we're going to collect the player to a team, a team to a player, and a team to a venue. So our app is to revolutionize planning sporty and social get-togethers. So we'll be connecting players with local teams, shows the closest pitches and availability, it will show the facilities booking and, the payment and paying the pitch providers. On these searches, there'll be filters, games based on the requirements, the location, the skill level, and there'll also be a live chat with other players to organize and meet up. Target audience. We have such a wide range of people we can target. There are so many people who are interested in playing football. It doesn't matter whether you're 18 years old, you could be 45 years old. So all you have to do is be interested in playing football, all levels of ability, want to connect and build friendships. So in terms of the venues, we'll, all they'll have to have is football pitches and be below the operating capacity, their full operating capacity, sorry. So research, can you believe there's 97,500 football players just in East Anglia? It's crazy, isn't it? And as I said, 41% of an average occup occupation rate of pitches. In terms of our research, we've conducted um, on a survey of over 100 people, 82% are interested in using our service. There's a familiar face you might recognize. Ex-footballer Grant Holt. Uh, some would say he's a Norwich City legend. I wouldn't, as I'm an Ipswich fan, but... <laughs> Oy, still ain't none of that. Uh, but what we could come to terms with, but I didn't tell him I'm not, you know, I'm not a Norwich fan, but we could come to terms with there's definitely a problem with grassroots football. There's another recognisable face, Rob Butler, BBC Radio Norfolk presenter. Again, he's probably a big Norwich fan, didn't mention that. Um, but we could also establish, he, had a, he loved our idea about Kickabout and thought it was a great idea to bring people together and develop grassroots football. So with, with any business, there's competition. We have open play. There's a similar service, but they weren't user-friendly. We've got sports meets, but poor branding and no clear purpose. Pitch finder, no feature to connect with other players. And find a player. There's a lack of presence and marketing. So how are we going to make money? So you'll be pleased to know that we won't be charging you players, you guys interested in the sports, nothing. But what we will be charging is the venue subscription. So it'll be a monthly subscription to have pitches searchable and promoted to these relevant players. We will also look for in-app ads that will help bring in more money for our business. So a few numbers. In order for us to break even, we would only have to sell 50, 81 pitches at 50 pound per pitch per month. 81 pitches. You might sound it seems a lot. However, if we take this into an example, if we increase UEA sports parts bookings by just 1%, 1%, we can increase their revenue by 336 pounds per month. So 81 pitches to break even. How about that? That doesn't look so bad now, that we say that there's 7,000 pitches 
just in the Norfolk, Suffolk, and Essex area. So 81 pitches to break even, and there's that many pitches. With 97,500 football players. That seems a lot of football players. However, if you look at how many players there actually are worldwide, I can't even probably read that number, it's probably bigger than I can say. And even a bigger number is the people playing sport worldwide. So there's no escape where, where this could lead to. Other sports, such as squash, tennis, golf, where you're looking to provide that service, increase participation. I'd like to say a thank you to my team, wherever you are. Team over there, for supporting me and my idea and sharing the same common vision. And I'd like to thank Sinclair City for giving me the opportunity to share my idea with you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for your pitch. So I was quite interested in the concept that you came up with, which is that there's a lack of grassroots football mm -hmm. being played. But I wondered, had you explored how much of that problem is down to people just not finding a game and how much of it was down to there not being enough grassroots footballers to start off with anyway? So maybe you should just be trying to encourage more people to play grassroots football. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? The big yeah. bleep just, you know, yeah, right I know. Sorry. It put me off <laughs> as well. So I was just wondering how much of the problem is down to there not being a match-up between people wanting to play grassroots football, but actually mm -hmm. not enough grassroots footballers out there in the first place anyway. Well, we've actually um, done a lot of research on this. Um, as, a, as you can see, there was 82% uh, of people would be actually interested in, in the service that we offered of facilitating um, of helping them to find a sport. But there's also 63% of people um, who found a barrier of actually uh, not, of not having someone to uh, speak to in terms of connecting with sport. But there is other elements, such as the investment in grassroots football and also the quality of the pitches. However, this can be improved by, in, uh, by our, uh, putting money into these uh, into these places where they can reinvest it back into the sports facilities and provide better grassroots football for everyone. Thank you.